Today, President Biden said he was disappointed by OPEC's decision, but still defended the trip. The, the trip was not essentially for oil. The trip was about the Middle East and about Israel and, and rationalization of positions. But it is a disappointment, and it says that there are problems. Look, I defended the president taking the trip at the time, thinking the relationship was an important one. But this does feel like the ultimate rebuke. United States was pushing OPEC to increase oil production. In July, Joe Biden had traveled to Saudi Arabia to reset his ties with the kingdom. What does Riyadh do? The exact opposite. They have ganged up with Russia to reduce oil output. <laughs> This oil card reveals America's loosening influence over Saudi Arabia. Not only have they not condemned Putin's war, now they are siding with him to increase oil prices. Clearly, this is a message to Washington. <laughs> is all set to strike a deal with Venezuela, sort of like a quid pro quo. The U.S. will ease sanctions on Venezuelan oil, and in return, the president, Nicolas Maduro, will hold free and fair elections in 2024. Just to be clear, neither side has confirmed this deal. It is purely based on reports in U.S. media. But if true, they reveal how desperate Joe Biden is. Remember, November is election month in America. One of the biggest poll issues is the rising energy prices. So Biden seems to be trying everything to keep the markets calm. He made one U-turn with Saudi Arabia. Now he could be making another U-turn with Venezuela.